Have you ever finished a quantitative usability test and thought, why was the success rate so low for this task? Or maybe you've launched a large-scale survey, but wished you had richer stories behind the numbers. That's where mixed methods research comes in. Mixed methods research combines qualitative and quantitative methods in a single study to answer the same overarching research question. The goal is to intentionally collect and integrate both types of data. Quantitative data, like surveys or A-B testing, gives you breadth and measurable trends. Qualitative data, like interviews or qualitative usability testing, gives you depth and context. Together, they offer a more complete picture than either could alone. Mixed methods research is different from doing a quantitative study and then only later deciding to run a follow-up qualitative study based on a separate question or goal. In true mixed methods research, both parts are planned from the start, connected by the same research goal, and analyzed together to build a unified interpretation. But even though you plan in advance to have both ways of data collection in your study, the specific details of the protocol, such as the interview script or the tasks, may evolve along the way based on what you find. For instance, you might plan to start with a quantitative benchmarking study to measure success rates and completion times across several tasks. And from the beginning, you also plan to conduct a qualitative usability test afterward, but the exact tasks in the qualitative part won't be fully defined up front. Instead, you decide that the qualitative portion will focus on a subset of tasks from the benchmarking test, specifically the ones where users struggle the most. This way, the quantitative results guide the qualitative part, but both were planned together under the same research goal, to understand where and why users struggle. In UX, this blend of qual and quant is powerful. The purpose of mixed methods is to triangulate data from different approaches and allow one type's merits to compensate for another's weaknesses. It helps you validate what's happening with numbers and explain why it's happening through people's words and behaviors. For example, imagine your goal is to make it easier for users to navigate a university website and find important information, such as application deadlines or financial aid options. From the start, you plan to conduct both qualitative usability testing and quantitative tree testing. The qualitative usability test reveals where users expect to find things and how they interpret category labels. You use those insights to design several options for a navigation schema and then conduct quantitative tree testing to identify the best option. This is the strength of mixed methods. Both methods were intentionally designed to work together and complement each other to get a fuller picture. Here are some tips for doing mixed methods research well. First, plan ahead. Mixed methods research isn't something you just tack on at the last minute. It takes coordination, and especially around timing and analysis. So for example, if you're planning to run a quantitative survey and then conduct interviews with interested participants, you'll need extra time to review the interviewee survey responses and ensure you ask relevant interview questions. Without that planning, your interview might end up asking the wrong questions or missing key issues, making it harder to connect the qualitative and quantitative findings in a meaningful way. Second, match methods to your research goal. Don't use both just for the sake of it. Use each one for what it's best suited to. If the goal is to decide between two layouts, an A-B test can show which one performs better, while a qualitative usability test can help you understand why users prefer one over the other. Third, think about how the two methods connect. The value of mixed methods comes from how you integrate the findings. Will one method help explain the other? Will you look for agreement across both? For instance, if your usability test shows users struggle with onboarding and your survey confirms low satisfaction with the sign-up experience, you've confirmed the issue from two angles, which gives you stronger evidence to act on. In summary, when used well, mixed methods research brings together different types of findings, like what users do, why they do it, and how often it happens into a single cohesive narrative that's grounded in evidence and easy for stakeholders to act on. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of our UX videos, take a look at these over here and consider subscribing to our channel.
on our website, nngroup.com, you can access our free library of over 2,000 articles. You can also register for one of our UX courses that offer live, hands-on UX training.